This is Miss Douglas' second grade class at Westlake Elementary, and we are studying Life Cycle of a Frog with Mr. Rick Crossland. Hey, so, you know, we're going to talk about life cycles of a frog. I got two students from Miss Douglas' class with me. What's your first name? Layla. Layla? Taiwan. And Taiwan. So, you know, we've been doing a little mobile right here. So, Layla, on a butterfly, it starts with a butterfly egg. egg and then it turns into a caterpillar, which is another name for a larva. larva. <laughs> and then that turns into a chrysalis or, or pupa. And then finally, butterfly. an adult butterfly. But you know what? Uh, come over here, young man. So let's do the frog. So a frog starts with a frog egg, frog egg and then a tadpole. tadpole that turns into a froglet. froglet. And finally, an adult frog. And so this is a four stage life cycle of a frog and life cycle of a butterfly. And it's kind of flying away right now, just like a butterfly. And hopping away like a frog. And hopping away like a frog. That's what I like. So um, let's take a closer look in our science book at this. In our science book, there's a really cool picture of the frog life cycle. Would you go ahead and read this uh, for us, Sarah Layla? Yes. The young frog grows and changes to become an adult frog. The adult frog can live on land or in the water. The frog hops on land. The adult frog does not have a tail. Frogs can live for many years. An adult frog may lay eggs in the water and the life cycle begins again. The life cycle begins again. Taiwan, we should point out the different life stages in this frog's life. What's the first one? The first one is an egg. The second one is a tadpole. The third one is a young frog oak or a froglet, and then the last one is an adult frog. Can you tell me something about each one of these stages? What do you know about an egg? An egg can only be in water, and, and if it's on land, it can't survive. What about a tadpole? A tadpole lives in the water because as in the water as the stuff it needs to eat to survive. And the froglet? Froglets could breathe through their skin, I think. Yeah, I think you're right. And what's what feature does a froglet have that an adult frog does not have? A young frog or a froglet has a tail. Check it out. Right about where? Pointing out to us. Where's the tail? It is right here. Okay, so we're going to use this plate right here, and we're going to use it for a special reason. It's divided into sections. And what do you think these four things stand for? I think they stand for the life cycles of I, a frog. You're right. In fact, one, two, three, and four. So let's go ahead and write that. Frog, I'm going to write frog life cycle. Okay? And so we're going to talk about, and what are the four stages? Well, you repeat them again. The first one is a... Egg. There's our egg. And tadpole. Then, tadpole. Froglet. Froglet, and, and finally, an adult frog. An adult, right? Adult frog. Okay. But before we go to there, I want to show you something about nature that I think is really cool. Nature uses structures. When I mean structures, I mean how they build animals and plants. And so here's a structure that nature uses a lot. Check it out. What is that? A circle. A circle. It could be an egg. It could be an egg, right? An eyeball. And it could be an eyeball. <laughs> it could be a nose, a mouth. It could be a head. We use a circle a lot. Your cells are made of circles. And a frog egg uses circles. Circle. So this is a pretty important, this is a pretty important feature of nature. They like to build things that are in that shape. Here's another one they build. A line, a line. For example, look at my arm. My arm is a line. Look veins at your arm. Are your veins. And my veins, look at the veins on there, my your vein. Finger? Oh, put your fingers over here, your finger. So those are lines. Now here's a, something that also happens, check this out. Nature sometimes uses a circle, sometimes uses a line, and sometimes it uses a line that does this, splits and splits and splits. 
Isn't that cool how things can split? Okay. So with these three structures, a circle, a line, and a split, animals can develop and plants can develop. Does this, you said that looked like a, an egg. And what does this look like? That looks like the frog legs and arms. Their arms and legs. What about in a plant? What does that look like? Um, it looks like the, like in, in a tree, it kind of looks like the branches going off. Yeah. Let's take a look, closer look at that. Uh, uh, so Taiwan, I'm looking across the uh, grass here and I see a tree and it has those same structures just like we talked about. You're right about that. And let's look at some more of those. You even said that your eyes are round. Make us some big round eyes. There we go. <laughs> what about your mouth? Oh, uh, so in your nose, your nostrils, and even your head's kind of round. So we have examples of roundness and we have examples of things that are branching. Let's look at one more example. So here's Layla showing me how her arm branches into fingers. Very cool. So nature uses all three of these. Round things, straight things, and branching things. Let's get back to our life cycle. The first stage you guys said was the egg, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm, the egg looks, guess what? There's that structure again, circle with another circle in it, right? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna use some, uh, hand me the glue. For our model, we're gonna use some glue right here. Would you guys, I brought some special frog eggs today. Let's go ahead and start putting those right in here. Okay, these frog eggs, oh, there's, there you go. These are actually, uh, some people might call them googly eyeballs, but uh, <laughs> Taiwan put one in, there you go. And uh, nice, and we got another one to put in. And somebody earlier said it's like a mass of eggs or a cluster of eggs. The frogs lay lots of eggs, right? They do. They do. Okay, there's our eggs, right? Step one. What's next step? The tadpole. The tadpole, right? Well, guess what? Here's our familiar shapes again. See that? And that? You know what that is? No. <laughs> no. What about now? Do you know what that is? I think it's a head. It's head. the circle. It's the head. It's the eyes. It's the mouth. And now we're going to add that line. Remember we talked about nature making circles and line? Mm -hmm. And so here is our tadpole. Okay, so we're going to use some modeling clay. You could use any kind of clay. This is some cool clay air dry. I'm going to give everybody a small piece. Now I'm going to take about uh, a fourth of it off and this is going to be our tadpole. So I need to go ahead and, and uh, you have your book right here. So let's take a look at what a tadpole looks like. I'll lay that right here so we can use that as our guide. And I'm going to make my round part and um, tail's kind of cool kind of long and it comes down. Hey, does that shape look familiar to you? Yes, it's the circle and the line. It's the circle and the line, Taiwan. You are right. Layla, what do you think? You see it? Yep. Here's my circle. Okay, you guys keep making yours. You know what? I'm going to add some detail and I'm going to add another eyeball. There's my eyeball. Another eyeball. How does that look? Kind of a not a very friendly tadpole. <laughs> <laughs> it's ready to eat. Yeah, and tadpoles, you know, they uh, actually do a lot of eating. They'll eat about anything. Now, if only I had a green marker. Do we have a green marker? So I'm going to go ahead and add, um, add the eyeball right here. Oh, that's a really a green marker. <laughs> yeah, it is. And, I'm, and, I'm, and, and there's some spots on it. It's and uh, here's my tadpole. Ready? I'm going to put one right there. And I'll let you guys get a chance to do yours. So we made a couple tadpoles. <clears throat> this is a cool one. Let's put it here. You guys want to put your tadpoles in? Yes. So there's our tadpoles. Let's see. Look at these guys. Friendly. Not so friendly. Evil. <laughs> the evil tadpole. <laughs> All right. There's a. Uh, what's next? So we got our tadpoles. We got our eggs. What do you think's next? I think frog. it's a froglet. A froglet. You know. And let's think about the structure of that. The structure of that would be this. This is amazing. Watch. Let's bring our circle back, right? Mm -hmm. Let's bring a long line, and that's the backbone. We start getting ribs. There's our tail. And then some of these become legs. Check it out. And we start getting some fingers. Look familiar? Yep. 
we so, have the same circle. Same circle. Same, same line. line. And then it's the and then like the tree shape. In the tree, it starts to branch, right? So yeah. let me show you how we're gonna do this. All right, I'm gonna take about half of my clay that I have left. Okay, watch now. A frog to me is kind of triangular, so and it's got a, a rear end. This one still has a tail, so I'm gonna leave a tail on it. So there's my triangle with the tail. You got that? Yes, yes. And then I'm going to, uh, uh, good, you're making one too, good, good. <laughs> Everybody make a frog. Now, here's what I do, here's my back legs. I'm gonna pinch, that kind of looks weird, kind of looks like a bat now, I don't know. Those are my back legs, here's my front legs. So it looks like that, see how, the shape I made? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes? Yes, yes. Okay, now I'm gonna use my scissors and just uh, cut right here. And I'm gonna cut right here. And that's gonna make my frog legs a little bit longer in the back. And then I'm gonna pinch my frogs in the front. Now this is where it kind of looks cool. As soon as I start pinching these down and pushing the head up, can you use your imagination? See that frog starting to form? Yeah. You see him? Here he comes. And he's still got a tail, right? What's happening to those frogs over there? They get run over by a truck or something? <laughs> okay, so we got the frogs and uh, I'm gonna bend his legs and put them forward. There's one, I'm gonna bend his legs back and put them forward. You know what we're missing on this frog? What? He's got a tail, eyes. eyes. I'm gonna pinch a little bit off his tail. He doesn't need all that energy in his tail anyway. <laughs> Ready? All right, I'm gonna make two eyeballs. Because if you look at that froglet, their eyes kind of pop out, don't they? Yep. Yep. And so here we go. There's one big eyeball right here. And one right here. Don't say uh-oh when you make a frog. <laughs> no, look at it. No, I don't want to. <laughs> All right, check it out. There's a big eye right there. There's a big-eyed frog. Yeah. Okay, here's mine. Let's see, let's get my marker. I'm gonna put his eyes. There we go, and eyes. And this is gonna be the start of a leopard frog, but he still has a tail. So here's my froglet. And he's starting to develop some uh, some feet. He goes right here. Hand me one of those froglets from over there. One right, of these? Yeah, hand me that froglet. Right here? Nice job on that, yeah. Here's another one. Look at the one you just made. That, isn't that cool? Good job on that, Taiwan. Thank you. Okay. Hand me another froglet over there, okay? Nice froglet. And you know what these froglets all have in common? What do they all have? I think tail? A tail. I think Miss Douglas made that one. Look at that one. Miss Douglas, nice job. This is, okay, there's our froglets. And they all have a what? Let's see this one. I love it. It's kind of different. All frogs are different. All frogs are different. There's a froglet. Okay. So, now... We have, you know, here's the one thing I want to show you though. We're going to take a piece of blue cellophane, or we could use blue net netting, and I'm going to put it over these three sections. Why? Because Why would I do that? I think it's what do you think, Taiwan? As they can only be underwater because they can breathe through their skin. Yes, hand me some tape. These are the amphib amphibians. So since it's amphibians, these three life stages have to be underwater don't they mm -hmm. they have to be so i'm going to use that as my egg tadpole and the froglets are trying to get out <laughs> not quite yet so what does that leave us to do to make adult frog. the adult frog so let's go ahead and start our adult frog same thing except this time no tail. no tail so you get it like this like a triangle its rear end comes down as a triangle his head comes up. Here we go. Are you watching? Yep. Let's squeeze some big back legs. Here comes the big back legs. Some small front legs. These are squeezing, big back legs. Squeezing. Okay, look back at your book if you want. He's got a ridge going down his back. Cool. I'll squeeze my scissors. Use my scissors. And so we're getting there. Check it out. And look at the book, how his legs go one way. First they go forward, then they go back, then they go forward. Wait, what? Like that? Well, so you figure it out. Forward, 
forward. forward. Then there's a knee. Like this? <laughs> yeah, and then back. <laughs> forward. There's a knee. And then back. See him? Okay, kind of. And so, oh, you know what I forgot to do on this guy? Look, he's getting there. Got his ridge. Let's have two little eyeballs here. Got me an eyeball. There's one eyeball. Here's my second eyeball. <laughs> he barely has a head. It's not even round. Really? <laughs> Why don't you like frogs, man? I used to have pet frogs. Here we I go. used to have a pet pet tarantula. Well, <laughs> we're we're gonna talk about uh, this frog. That's got some big eyes. That frog has some big eyes. <laughs> <laughs> But I it's an adult frog, so it, it has uh -oh. eyes. This one doesn't have a head. Keep working. <laughs> I used to have a frog mm -hmm. that ate one other frog and two fish. Yeah, frogs will eat anything that moves. They are, especially adult frogs. So here's, here's our guy right here. And I'll tell you, it's looking pretty good. I'm going to, I'm going to, he's going to be a green frog. Um, where does he go? Does he go in the egg? No. Where does he go? Does he go in the... Look, one last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to squeeze his feet. If I squeeze his feet, that's what I'm going to turn him into. Watch. So I squeeze his feet, and, and I'm going to cut his toes like this. Cut his toes like this, see this? I'm going to squeeze him one more time like that, and look, I made web feet. Check it out. Okay, I'm going to put my adult frog right here. Ribbit ribbit and he's on land so i might make some land for him hey let me see that other adult frog over there let's see this let's see that one first that one there this one's kind of cool pull it off of there there's an adult frog look no tail put him right here but then there's a really good one let's see what miss this douglas wow check it out there is one friendly frog <laughs> so do you guys uh uh we've done a pretty good job how are your frogs coming Pretty good. All right. Well, let's. Uh, uh, it's about time for us to hop out of here. Right. I get it. You get it. Look at this. All right. Let's take everybody. Grab a frog right here. Grab one of these for a second. Oh, I like. I like that frog. Ready? Ribbit. 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 Hey, have fun Ribbit. with the frog life Ribbit. cycle. Ribbit. Egg, tadpole, Ribbit. froglet, Ribbit. and really Ribbit. croaking loud Ribbit. frogs. <laughs>